There are still some areas that need that water to recede. One of them is just behind me. You're looking at a parking lot that has about two to four inches in it. This is off of East Road in North Attleboro, and it's just one of the places in desperate need of cleanup. Clean up underway in North Attleboro. We've owned this house for 10 years and we've yet to see water come down that fast. After Monday night's flash flooding turned yards into ponds and submerged some basements in feet of water. Sky 5 overhead showing standing water at multiple properties. Officials say about 200 homes are flooded or damaged and that they received 145 emergency calls. That's just heartbreaking and unfortunately we're seeing more and more of this around the state as we see more and more severe weather here and across the country. Governor Maura Healy toured the damage oh, I'm so and provided comfort to some affected residents. She says rebuilding in a way to prevent future events like this is is essential. You're making smart decisions about how we build and that we build infrastructure in ways that, that are resilient. Residents are hoping they'll be able to rebuild before more torrential rain returns. I'm not going to lie, I think we're all a little worried about tomorrow's rain and then potentially what Hurricane Lee might bring us. So there is clearly some standing water in several places still, and officials are warning people to not walk through it because it might be contaminated with sewage waste. We're live tonight in North Attleboro. Danae Bucci, WCVB News Center 5.